We're Danny and Joe, and this week we're painting our 50-foot narrowboat. If you're thinking about painting your own boat, my advice... Okay. Someone might watch this and say, oh, I'm not going to do that, and I drop the hoover into the canal. That's like literally the whole boat. I thought we were going to be painting like 9am. Half past four. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden, golden. Golden, golden things. So that's us safely in the wet dock where we'll spend the next two weeks on our biggest challenge on the boat yet, I'm sure. Lying on our stomachs, a bit of fruit loaf for breakfast. We didn't know if we were going to be able to stay here. We thought we were going to have to go back to like one of our parents, but it's true, I guess, like we've got, we're very fortunate we've got that option, but a lot of people wouldn't, which would then make the cost like double if you had to pay for a hotel. So we're allowed to stay in here, not allowed to use the fire, which is understandable, but can use the gas for cooking and use the diesel heater. So fingers crossed we'll be okay. We do at some point want to take the windows out, but I think we should try and leave that as long as we can, just because otherwise it will be drafting in there at night. Um, but I think first, gonna have some breakfast and then take everything off of the roof. Start with the roof, Start yeah. Start with the roof, yeah. That's the most important, that's like the thing that we wanted to get done this year anyway, didn't we? Yeah. Um, do the roof, sides, and then we're done. Simple. Simple, simple as that. <laughs> didn't realize how much crap we had on the roof. That's one of the solar brackets. And then mushroom pine. As you can see, there's quite a gap on each side, so we have took the executive decision to take our rings off for the best. So plan for the mushrooms. I'm gonna leave them in situ because they've only recently been fitted. Um, but I'm gonna strip all the sealant from around the outside, prime them all together and then paint them with one just to try and get a better seal. Look at this as well. So all the mushrooms, etc., are back to where they need to be. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get Danny rigged up with the grinder first and the flatten paddle. I've never used a grinder before in my life. <laughs> and after that, I'm just going to grind these old um, pole brackets. Pole the first. thing for the pole oh, and stuff, that. but They're we don't use off. them. So instead of using a school blue like a lot of people used to use or a fair few people recommended, a couple other people recommended a Turku rotating blaster which is meant to be a bit easier on your hands and ears um, and it acts or sort of um, gives the same finish as shot blasting or uh, as sand blasting. It's quite a mean looking thing, it looks like what they dig the channel tunnel with. 
can give that a go attached to the drill. Really impressed with the Turku attachment so far. Done that area. It doesn't look filler too much. We'll go back to that with the um, pump paddle for the grinder. Um, yeah, really easy, quite comfortable. I've basically used that, that with the attachment, sort of used that as a guide, the handle as a guide to sort of follow it down. Yeah, it's been really good. <sighs> Gonna make a coffee, have a little tidy up, and then crack back on. I don't know what time it is. Soon find out. We're at 20 past one. That's not too bad at all for the first day, considering we didn't actually get started till just gone nine. Um, we had to like fill in the form and stuff for health and safety and whatnot. Not much to report, making progress. Just to boost the morale a little bit, I'm gonna find the official halfway mark. Although the railing's gonna take probably as long as that will on their own, but it'd be nice to know, wouldn't it? Oh, Ooh, that was... I think it's 10 meters. Oh, five. We're halfway. Nearly, we haven't done the handrails. Wow, you wouldn't believe that. That's like an invisible line I made to start with, and then I went a bit further. Halfway on the bulk of it, and handrails, but we can tackle them together. That only made a start, that was just awkward, just really hard to get up underneath. Well, that's funny isn't it, that's uncanny. Alright, anyway. Oh, oh, the I uh, so, day one complete. Quite pleased with that actually. I must admit, I thought it was going to be a bit slower going than that. Yeah, about just over halfway on the roof, not including the handrails, which are probably going to take just as much time. But Hopefully finish the roof tomorrow. Yeah. And then if we get any more time, go from there. Mm -hmm. Day two, I've developed a cold, which is just impeccable timing. Really sore throat, was up most of the night. Quick bit of breakfast and then straight back to it. New member of the team joined us today. Okay. Straight to work. Straight on the coffee. This is my favourite mug. Don't we like break smoke it. In here? <laughs> that my one. Yeah. yeah. Don't drop it. Limited edition devices. Pound camps on it. I thought you'd like that one. It's got a small rim. Stretch the arms on it. feeling really poorly blessing. I don't know if we've already said this, so sorry if I'm going over it, but this is what we've been using underneath the um, handrail. This seems to be the hardest part for us. It's pretty fiddly and then of course you've got a quite the right size or they just don't fit under properly. So Joe's dad suggested this and we've been scraping the paint off which definitely helps. Um, and now we've got a new blade on the grinder which seems to be sort of going under a little bit more as well as like a little spinny disc thing but yeah this is definitely taking a lot longer than we anticipated oh and the batteries keep dying quicker than we can charge them
Good morning, start of day three. We finished up yesterday, Joe's dad left. He was a massive help, thank you, Lee. Um, and then we went to the shops. Joe wasn't feeling too great, still not, but here he is this morning, my little champion. In bed by about six o'clock. Yeah. And like, real sweaty, horrible, coldy night. I got a little buddy here, though. This is Doris. <coughs> Hi, Doris. Um, feeling a little bit better this morning, hopefully it's just like a 24 or 48 hour thing. This is day three of prep, and I'm hoping to get all the prep done in four days, so we'll see we get on. I think we're going to try and finish off the roof as well as we've started this side, so, but yeah, the roof, just that handrail is just taking up so much time, it's so intricate and annoying, to be honest, but here we are. Right, back to it. One of the worst things yesterday was only being able to breathe in and out of my mouth, not my nose, and it was condensating my mask, and it was just disgusting. It was so wet, and I've washed it now. But um, Danny's first job of the day is to finish off this little thin bit on the roof. Oh, yeah. um, you alright with that? Yeah. Cool. Um, what my dad found is with my cordless grinder. Um, the Makita one, it's got like a slimmer profile so you can get the head in a little bit further because we've got one with a brand new fluffy disc you would leave like a 10mm strip where you couldn't reach from both sides but with a brand new blade with the Makita one um, it actually just about reaches so I'm going to crack on with that um, what was I going to use the oh the battery's still charging i use the mains one to get as much off as I can and then I'll move on to the battery once the battery's charged So we're up to about six o'clock. Not masses of visual progress, but the roof, I know we keep saying it, is nearly there. Um, handrail on this side is done, and about halfway on this one. I've got this outside portion to grind back a little bit more, and then the whole lot needs sanding to get a key into it. And then a big wipe down, clear up, and we might actually put a cut of prime on later on tonight. Just to switch the tools up a little bit, I have peeled back the peg on this portion. That to do, gunnels to do, front section to do. Now, whilst we're having a bit of a break, it'd be a good chance to thank this week's sponsor, EcoFlow. Now, we've been using our original Delta for the past six or seven months, flat out most days. Um, it's been an absolute godsend, it's never missed a beat. Um, for anyone on the market for a power bank, or if you're on the bench, EcoFlow have recently launched their Delta 2. Which is actually really risky. Now it's got all the goodies of the original Delta, but with more modern battery technology. The original Delta was launched in 2019, and since then it's remained the fastest charging power bank. Delta 2 continues that legacy, um, using the same battery technology now as Tesla. It's got an NFP battery, which means you're going to get um, 10 years lifespan until it will be down to 80% capacity, I think. Now, I'll tell you a little secret. We've actually been using the original Delta whilst we're doing the real dirty work. I really don't want to get this dirty. Having a power bank whilst we've been in the docks has actually been really handy because we've got no sun at the minute. We're trying to maintain some sort of charge in our main batteries down to 91 percent been in there three days so anything that needs charging like phones or laptops and using 240 volt appliances we've just been doing it straight off of the ecoflow which is why we've still got 90 percent left on our actual batteries so if you're ready to get your hands on an ecoflow make sure to use the link in our description cut oh mate these are heavy <laughs> so we've just finished um grinding the roof and now joe <laughs> plans to sand it but all of the black bits that we thought had turned back to metal when you sand it it just goes back to rust we need to 
go deeper. <laughs> That's like literally the whole boat. Mm. I'm really good. I thought we were gonna day four now. Are we day four? We're doing day three. Huh? It's day three. Oh, okay, day three. But I thought we were gonna at least have one coat of primer on the roof just as a bit of an uplifter and yeah as soon as joe sands it, it just goes straight back just shows that the sort of grinder and all the tools we're using aren't actually going in that deep oh look at my hand did you say that yeah it's all good fun isn't it i'm just trying to find a clean bit of my t-shirt to clean the brush with there we go just saw a nipple Right. Men have that colour. Just see stirry. If this does what it did on a couple of spots on the bow deck, it should react after give you a couple of minutes. It won't take long to sand that off in the morning anyway. Just trying to get it mingling with the rust so carry on from my experiment i've been doing a bit of research and this is black rust which i didn't even know was a thing but it's basically a thin film that forms in low oxygen settings so essentially under a layer of paint um, it's fairly stable but obviously once you sand it it goes orange and then you can wipe it away um, but it's quite hard to get rid of I've just tried some Vactan on it as well and it's not reacting to the Vactan per se. It's also not leaching through our zinc primer. So I'm fairly confident you might be able to just zinc primer it, which is a rust inhibitor anyway. Problem is it's just a lot of paint to scrape back off if it doesn't work. It's too late to sand it now, the cut off of sound is about eight. Eight, it's about that now, so yeah, 8.01. So I'm going to call it a night, do a bit more research, hopefully come see up with a plan. See how they react in the morning and then hopefully if that grey one works then mm. we can just quick sand it and then to get a key paint basically. It, paint it yeah. See you in the morning. Good morning, day four. plan today is actually I need to go and check first that's what I can do I see how the paint and black tan got on yesterday Whoa. black tan just don't take the well. I think we're going to go black tan a whole lot that's the paint not burning through at all Struggle with us for this. Um, but we're just not going to risk it just in case any of the rust does flag up. We're going to put that tan rust converter on it or fur tan, depending on which one the boat yard stocks. And then use one less coat of primer. So we'll just use one coat of primer then, which is what it recommends anyway. So also, Danny's caught this bug. Are you feeling motivated? Mm. <laughs> oh dear. Should I give you some paracetamol? Oh. I someone made earlier. I've got some black print. <laughs>
got two hours left of noise feeling slightly delirious um, update for you basically ready on this side I'm pretty sure we've been saying this for about three days now pretty much ready on this side all we've got left to do now he says try and balance somehow a plank along the back and reach this bit we're scrapping the handrail for now we'll do that when we finish off this deck this needs going over the wire brush then that's nearly done then sand to give it a little key and then vac tan amongst that we've got to take the windows out actually and grind around them got a fair bit to do kid It has just turned 8 o'clock I'm making the executive decision to call it a night Danny's just got back with a Chinese she looks astonished and quite glad What do you mean call it a night? Just to eat our Chinese and have a shower and go to bed um, Whilst Danny was gone I was hoovering the boat to get all the dust off and I dropped the hoover into the canal what do you mean? The whole hoover? The whole hoover for a little dunk. I managed to get it out before it started. It was like blowing bubbles in there. I got it out straight away. So wet and dry vac anyways is fine. But all of the paint dust has just merged with uh, water now. Canal water of all water in the bottom. So it's going to take us a while to clean that out before we go any further anyway. And I'm just like, Where you know this? what? Just out the back. I was balancing on the plank out the back. Hoover Look around, at the colour of that. Wow. I think this is the most we've ever deserved a Chinese. Yeah, perfect, kid. Nice one. I don't think you're getting out of bed. I today. don't want to touch you. I wash my hands. Mm. <laughs> if you're thinking about painting your own boat, my advice don't do it. would be don't. Good morning, day five. Ooh. Today we are going to paint something. <laughs> if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> uh, windows up first. Oh. We just had a major, I say major, like a decent sweep up, hoover up, and all the rest of it. Mm -hmm. Got rid of most of the dust. She's gonna look pretty. Ready for windows up? Not really. This is the bit I've been dreading the most. What are we gonna mark them with? Masking tape. Ready? No. I don't know if you caught that, but these are a lot harder to get out than I thought. So we're going to leave them in because I feel like they're quite weak at the edges. They were second hand when they were put in anyway. Um, they don't actually leak anymore. And it's just going to take probably a couple of days rather than 20 minutes like I first thought. Joe is very ambitious that he thought they were going to take 20 minutes. I've always thought it was going to be a bit of a pain and... Yeah, if we didn't break one on the way in, then that would have been a miracle, so I'm quite happy. I know it would have been a better finish if we were able to take them out, but we're no professionals, so. So I'm gonna use some molten salt and molten oil to try and get any excess sealant around here, just to stop it reacting with the paint. We're ready to sand. Um, I don't know where to start. Roof. 
Roof, sides, gunnels. I've got to put the plank in as well. And get it up, I've got to put it back over. We are ready to have a final dust off and then back town. I thought we'd be at this stage like two nights ago, but we are genuinely gonna back town. Quite exciting to actually put something on rather than take stuff off. Just need to blue roll it all. Yeah, so we give it a wipe down. We've blown it all off with the air, but you still get like residue like that, which for vac tan is not the end of the world, but if you were going to undercut them, it's pretty bad, but just for good practice, really. What time is it? Today. I thought we were going to be painting like 9 am. Half past four. <laughs> Day five. So it takes five days to prep a boat in a rush. Danny and Joe style. Danny and Joe style. <gasps> they take seven weeks to paint a boat here. And we're aiming for under two. So I don't feel, feel like that's quite good, is it? So now we are going to be vac tanning. That's what we used when we did the engine bay all of that time ago. It was a while ago now, so over a year. Um, and that just converts it. So it's got active ingredient of tannic acid. Yeah. It converts rust into a black primer, like a black primer. We were just refreshing it. We already watched a video from Cruz and Alba, but when uh, Marina did the roof of their boat, she only used it in little spots and then it started to come through. So we're just learning from her mistake, bless her. <laughs> so we're just gonna do it all we'll just for that. the sake of it. <laughs> I'm sure there's things that people will learn from us not to do <laughs> from our journey. Yeah, someone might watch this and say, oh, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, that's fine. All learning. Um, we want to do one side each? Uh, yeah, I think so. By the way, whilst we're here, I've been using the ha the the haver, the hoover that we've got to do the outside. And oh my goodness, 240 volt inside a boat. Our shark is just not cutting it, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was 200 pound. The shark? Yeah. To a 40 quid Titan from Screwfix Special. Apart from the clips, I've dropped in nearly dropped in the canal again, the top stayed in my hand and the bottom just fell down. Luckily I was on the planks and it sort of <laughs> lodged itself between the boat and the <laughs> wall. So we've just gave Lady Penny Byrne her first coat, which took us about four hours, albeit we did have a dinner break. Uh, join us next week and hopefully the boat will be finished. <laughs> Fingers crossed, <laughs> she says. Now we've got to get on. Explain how you're feeling. It's too much. There's a lot going on, it's noisy. <laughs> <laughs> Everything vibrates too much. <laughs> four pieces of PPE to put on. Four You've got four pieces on, you've got to do it in right order as well, because you can't put the other one on. It's going to be too tiny. <laughs> <laughs> but naturally, I want to smell that. Yeah, you'll get real familiar with the smell of this by the time we're done. Yeah, I'm sure. Day four, nearly the end of day four, maybe halfway through, because it's only half past three. Half past halfway through, it's nearly four o'clock. Yeah, we can work till eight. You'll find this very funny, Joe. We're not even halfway <laughs> there yet. I've been Mr. Motivator for the whole project so far. Hardest job's keeping Danny motivated. You're failing right now. Come on, you'll be right. Come on, you'll be right.
got six days left. How long have you been doing that for? <laughs> <laughs>